What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to show you how to change uh, these Dodge Ram headlights without removing the grill. As you can see, this one's still stock. I think these are the sport headlights, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, anyway, I guess they're putting the smoked out headlights and then we also have some uh, LED bulbs that are going in it. So we'll show you how to do it on that side without removing the grill. All right, so what you do is you remove this push pin on the corner so you can kind of open open this up. There's a bolt here, and then there's a bolt down in here. Let's see. Uh, let's see it. Can you point it down in there, hon? So, a little bit. Right there, if you can see it. Right there. The one right, right next to the yellow mark, that's the bolt you got to take out. So we just loosen it. Um, that bolt you won't grab out unless you have a magnet you might be able to pop it out, but uh, I'll loosen these two and then we'll go from there so For the bottom uh, Use a bunch of extensions uh, we put the little one on, it's a little bit easier and then a 10 millimeter for the socket. You just push it down in there. So once that's loose, um, I just leave that one down in there. So there's a little window in your wheel well here. So if you see this little window right there, you remove the push pin on that as well. And then you just flip that back out of the way. So there's a little tab, you'll stick your arm in here. So I'll show you guys after I do this. Um, so it's easier because I can't really do it at the same time. So there's a push tab in there, you push up and it releases the back of the headlight. And then it's easier, I might have to push them. So what I do is I kind of push on the back of the headlight a little bit to get it to release because there's a push tab or a push pin if you want to call it. Kind of like a ball and socket that holds in the back of the headlight. And you just kind of pop her out sideways. My bolt's not loose enough. That bolt's really long down here, so you'll probably have to twist for a while for it to be loose. But then, headlight just pops out. This is that little ball that kind of helps hold it. And then this piece right here. Is that piece you're pushing up because it kind of locks down onto this piece right here so you reach in through that little window on the back side and you push it up and that's what that's that releases you what you do is what you're hearing so that's how you remove a headlight without removing the grill and then putting it back in you just kind of set the bolt into this and then line it up with that first and then kind of push the headlight in um, that's what i did on the other side so we're gonna uh, swap headlights, put the new or put new LEDs in the other headlight, and then I'll show you how to put it back in. If anyone is, anyone is wondering the brand on these headlights, they're uh, Raxium headlights, and then the bulbs that we're putting in. So, where'd you order those ones off of? Amazon. So the headlights? Mm-hmm. So the headlights. Actually, no. Those are from American Trucks. So the headlights are from American Truck. The LED lights that she bought, uh, those came from Amazon. Um, and those are sea lights. Yeah, so the buy sea light, uh, the scope arc LED lighting. Um, for the Dodge, so this is a 2015. And I don't know what years are all the same, but for this one, the bulbs that you need, which I'm assuming it says in the description. Mm hmm. Are these for the, these are the high beams or low beams? Those are low. 
So these are the low beams, and then these are the high beams if you're looking for the numbers. She does have fog lights as well that we're going to install. Those are also sea lights. By the same company. Um, so, I don't know if you can, I don't know if it says this number online, but if it does, here it is. Um, otherwise, there's not really any information on there. So we're going to install these lights into the back of this headlight and then we'll install them into the truck. So when you're dealing with LEDs, uh, a lot of well, these, this kit comes with gloves, a lot of them with gloves. I don't really know exactly why. I think it's something to do with the static shock can wreck the LED. But when you put the LED bulbs in, try to make them so they're more straight up and down, not sideways, so that they shine right. So like you see, I'll put this in at an angle and then it'll straighten out and then it'll lock. And then these come with these, I think these are called ballasts or whatever. So basically, so the lights work good uh, because this was a halogen truck. It didn't come with LED headlights. So you have to run these because it's something with the voltages. And then this just plugs into the existing harness. And that's it. Um, on these aftermarket headlights, they do come with a little cover that you have to remove. Uh, and everything is right behind that where the stock ones are just into the back if you remove the stock ones and do it that way but then yeah let's just plug it in and you show it the back of the headlight put that cover back on so we're going to install the, the high beam um it's a little more difficult but we'll do that one off camera and then we'll be back to throw her in the truck so now when you plug these back in make sure they're right in the right connectors because on these headlights which actually in this truck do both connectors are the same and i think one's for the blinker slash running light and the other one is for the low beam and high beam so make sure you're plugged into the right ones and then for this corner since you didn't take the grill out you can't just reach in there so i set this in here and then you're gonna have to finagle with it try to get the bolt set in there um first because once once it's in there you have the headlight in there then you can't get it in there it's a pain in the ass and then you end up taking the headlight back out but kind of just do that and then I start that bolt first before I do the rest of the headlight because I got to pull the damn headlight back out because that's a pain in the ass. Hmm. Oh, no. Once you get her started down there ways is what I do. Just like I said, because if you can't, if you don't have that one in first, you're pulling the headlight back out to start it. But then the headlight kind of just hangs here. You kind of finagle it in. So it's sitting in the right spot. And then that member, that little ball, um, that little ball piece, that's what's got to go back in. So it's got to kind of pop in its socket. So you got to make sure you got that kind of lined up. It's kind of a guessing game. You know, don't force it, but it'll, once it finds its spot, it'll kind of pop right in. There. Just didn't line up right. So once you get it in a ball, that socket in it, you're in it socket, and then I put this top bolt in. And then I tighten this one, tighten the bolt, and then that little lever that you pushed up, you're gonna pull that back down to lock it into place. So once you get the two bolts tight, push your pin back in, and then you go underneath, like I said, you gotta do this little piece. So you reach up in there and you find that white tab oh. careful not to break it because it is just plastic and uh, headlights locked in place and then you take your little push pin here Push that back in and that's it. To adjust your headlights, there is a screw right here. There's a screw if you look down. I don't know if you guys can really it's see it. See Which it. this front one right here has an arrow pointing to it. That adjusts your headlights up and down. On the 1500s, you can't really do side to side or anything like that. Um, this one over here is for your uh, 2500s. They will have this as well. But uh, yeah, on the 1500s, it's just this one. I don't know why the camera makes it look like it's flickering, but it's not, so don't worry. But I, I go off my garage door, 
you know, you figure out where it's like with my truck, I took it and I just kind of put hers the same. So you look, it's on that line. Then I put hers on that line as well. But those headlights look good. But so yeah, that's all you do is just it. One way goes up, one way goes down in that little hole. Get them where you want them. I just even them out and then we'll see how, how she likes them. We might have to go down a little bit. We might have to go up a little bit uh, because of where her truck sits. So it's, it's a little bit lower than mine. So I don't quite know how that's gonna be at night yet, but we will find out. Actually, I might, I might drop hers just a hair since her truck does sit lower. So you do that by like going down in the hole. You can use a ratchet with a socket or you can use a screwdriver. I just use a screwdriver. You can just turn it and you get it where you want it. Try that. And then the same on the other side to even them out. Pretty even right there um, I don't know exactly how to adjust this is just how I do it um, and you'll see how you drive at night you see if they feel like they're too high or feel like they're too low ah, shit. try your high beams oh yeah them headlights look sweet Okay, turn your headlights off just to the marker light. Oh yeah, those look freaking sweet. Okay, hit your blinker once. Look at that. Definitely worth the money. You guys are looking for uh, to upgrade headlights. Like I said, the headlights came off of uh, American American trucks, I think it was, and then the headlights or the LED bulbs came off of Amazon. We were gonna put LED bulbs in the fog lights, but uh, we ordered the wrong bulbs. I don't know if they sent the wrong ones or we ordered the wrong ones. We're gonna have to go look when we get back in the house and see, because uh, the little locking mechanisms were a little bit different, so we couldn't get them in. Um, so we're gonna reorder the right ones get them in and this will have all LED headlights and fog lights and it will look good. Should be able to see a lot better at night and these just look absolutely killer. So if you guys like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, big thumbs up. That's how we do it without uh, removing the grill. Uh, biggest thing is when you're doing the slower bolt, be careful don't strip it out because I think it's just like a plastic. I don't exactly know how the bottom one works, but you can only crank it so tight. Uh, so be careful with that, don't break nothing. And uh, yeah, remember to reclip that back piece and that's all there is to it. Morgan loves them. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey, stupid. <laughs> Follow.